Well, greetings, friends. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. You know, there's a, a big debate in our country on the death penalty, or there has been in the past, and it seems like some states uh, will pass it, and then they rescind it, and so on and so forth. And so, uh, you know, a lot of people believe in it, and some people don't. In the Old Testament, however, there was 25 uh, instances, or shall I say reasons, for the death penalty. Uh, kidnapping a man and selling him, uh, witchcraft, bestiality, incest, homosexuality, uh, a rebellious son, all of these and more people were put to death if they were disobedient or broke these, um, these laws of God. But do you know there's a lot of people that are on death row that have the death penalty hanging over them uh, in our culture today and don't even realize it. For you see in Romans chapter six, verse 23, it says, for the wages of sin is death. See, if we live with unconfessed sins, then we're on death row. We're committed to die, not because uh, of God's decision, but because of our decision. We break the rules of God. We're going to have an eternal death. The only way we can escape death row, this eternal death row, is by accepting Jesus Christ, God's Son. For you see, the remaining part of that scripture says, but the gift of God is eternal life. And so I want to encourage you, my friends, if you have never confessed your sins and you're not living and following after Christ and following his rules and the word of God, then you're on death row. And you may not die soon, but believe me that death will come and it'll be an eternal death. And that would be such a tragedy. So I encourage you to repent, confess your sins to him, admit you're a sinner and you can have that eternal life. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.